It's time for Highlands basketball this afternoon from Montour High School. It's leg two of the Montour Holiday Tournament as the Highlands Golden Rams face the Stowe Rocks Vikings. Along with the Dean, Mike Choma, this is Mike Pavlik greeting you from Montour. And uh, Dean, uh, last night was not the best. Highlands lost their first game uh, against the Montour Spartans here. Mike, 20 turnovers, that's where you start. And again, it's way too many. Um, again, we weren't very aggressive for one simple reason. The refs would not let us be aggressive. They were, but uh, you can't play bad against a good team. And uh, they were a good team. They were on their home court. And they, nine point was the difference. But again, I thought it was much bigger as far as their effort. Well, right. The Rams are up seven in the third quarter and were outscored 35 to 19 the rest of the way. It's not something you normally see from a Highlands team. Well, the Stowe Rocks team comes in uh, under coach Dwight Hines in his second season. They are three and one. And they had a nice comeback victory here last night against 5A West Allegheny. Yeah, Mike, they were down 12 at halftime against West A. They came roaring back the second half. They win by three. They're not a big team, but they're aggressive, and they like to play transition, and they like to attack the basket. Sound familiar? Yeah, it does kind of, huh? And we have to get back. That's one thing. Yeah, that is. Well, keys to tonight's game. Uh, we were talking about it last night. Highland should have the size advantage. No doubt about it, Mike. Their biggest starter is 6'3", so maybe we put the big three together. Uh, Foster, Long, and Signorella. Again, 6'8", 6'7", 6'4". Could be one way to attack them. But we had to get back on defense. I think that was the key yesterday. Too many fast breaks for Montour. And again, I call it the deepest deep. You always have to get that man back, and again, stop the basketball. Those are the keys for me for today's game. No, they are. Well, the Boucher Agency has recently made some major changes with you and your family in mind. Now they're even better equipped to handle your home and auto insurance needs. The Boucher's are now independent agents in addition to nationwide. They now work with all the leading companies in the industry to find more ways for you to save on your home and auto insurance. Call your hometown independent agents, John and Nick Boucher, 724-224-4300. And they'll help you choose the coverage that's right for your family. They have evening and Saturday hours for your convenience. Remember, in the AK Valley, you're in good hands with the Boucher Agency on your side. Tip-off is coming up. It's Highlands and Stowe Rocks, and it's right after this. All right, back at Montour, time for the starting lineups. Brought to you by Dan Timmons Painting to beautify and protect. Rams will be the visitors dressed in the brown tonight. Vikings in the white, thank goodness. <laughs> they were black on green yesterday. Oh, tough trip to read that. Just ridiculous. Well, it's going to be important to come and see how we come back after a loss, Mike. I always say you learn a lot more about a team after a loss than a win. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I think uh, so we'll see. It's a middle of the afternoon game. Kind of sleepy, right? Yeah, I well, hope not. <laughs> Braden Foster, 6'8", sophomore, averaging 14.5 points a game. The Stow Rocks team is going to get their attention, Mike. They better be ready to play. Cameron Regard, number 24, 7.3 points per game. And there's Chandler Timmons wearing number zero, 6'4", junior, 4.7 points a game. Jimmy Kuntz, number one, a 6'3", junior, 25 points a game at 24 last night. And rounding out the starting five is Carter Leary, a 5'10", senior, averaging 8.0 points per game under coach, first-year coach Corey Dotcha. Now, Dwight Hines' Stowe Rocks Vikings, 3-1 on the year. And here's the starting lineup for the Vikings out of Section 2-2A. Only lost came to Newcastle, Mike, and Newcastle, a very good team. Jaymont Miller-Green, 5'11", junior, number three. Number four, Marcus Thomas, a 5'11", junior. Number five is Josh Jenkins, a 6'3", junior. Number two is senior Corey Simmons, 6'2". And Jamar Pearson, a 6'1", junior. Wearing number 23. Thanks to Kenny Homan for his help with the uh, rosters because we didn't have anything and we were late to knowing that this was even happening. So, therefore, we didn't weren't able to get in touch with the athletic department and their athletic director list right now anyway because Leroy Johnson quit right before Christmas, so they don't have a football coach or an athletic director anyhow. So, got to watch that game at West A yesterday, Mike. Uh, number 23, Jamar Pearson, very impressive in the first half. They were down 12, Mike. I'll be honest with you. I thought uh, West A was going to take it very easily, but boy, they roared back in the second half. And it was all pressure and transition. So the Highlands Global Rams going to have to respond to that today. No pressure. Mike Choma doing color and camera at the same time. <laughs> it's happened once before in a football game years ago. It wasn't the dean though. Somebody else did it, but 
You, it is what it is. I've moved that thing before, but not for long. We'll see what happens. See, we got a nice TV screen to look at there. So uh, Big wreck on Rod 28. So yeah, we'll, we'll, our cameraman we're going to get it done. Back court, the Vikings have it, and they move left to right, dressed in their home white uniforms with the green trend. They're so close to home, we passed their high school on the way in. We sure did. Yes, we did. So this is Green Miller, and it's stolen by Kunst. Out to Regar, drives, lays, missed it. Rebound, Kunst up, and yes, and the Rams lead 2-0. Let's see if Hines is going to press off the bat here, Mike. They are going to put pressure on the ball. This is Green Miller, number three. Yeah, they had their dark uniforms on yesterday. Black uniforms with green numbers, it was impossible. We're very happy the Rams to be the visiting Brown today. I think it's a good move by the coach to put them in pressure right off the bat, Mike, because, you know, when you come out a little sluggish, if you're going to press, you got to be ready to play. Right, and, and that's a good way to uh, get them started here. Yeah, exactly. Kick it back court for Green Miller. And Corey Simmons, a man to watch, too. 13 and a half points a game a year ago, and Jamon Green Miller, 12 and a half points a game last year. They go in, the shot is blocked, the rebound put up is no good, and Foster clears the boards for Highland. Kunz out of the head of the field. Kunz drives, lays, and scores, and the Rams lead four to nothing. So far, Mike, give them a dose of their own medicine here with a transition game. Got the ball quickly twice, two scores. Ooh. Corey Simmons nearly got the pivot foot. This is Green Miller, number three. Hot and straight man to man to start. Has that size advantage we talked about in the pregame, Mike. Hopefully we're able to take advantage of that here today. This is Marcus Thomas, number four, against up, oh, and they're gonna whistle before the play. It's a three-second call. Is when the last time you saw that one, Mike? Jay Mar Pearson was camped out in there. Good time to introduce the gentleman, Ian Triberg. Tom Corpial and Mike Fassbinder. Right, here comes air pressure, Mike. Let's see if Hines can beat it. Regard does get it down, and they get a two-on-one. Here's Leary into a three, but they blow the whistle and a travel as they say Leary did launch into a three. You're allowed to step into them more normally, I Mike. thought that yeah. he may have, but let's put it this way. I really wasn't looking for that. So Well, well there's the first time they got to set up their press, Mike, and it was successful. So the Golden Rams did not respond well to pressure yesterday. They're going to have to do it today because this team's going to bring it. That's for sure. Corey Simmons dribbles into the paint and got bumped. And a travel is called. Turnover fest is broken out here, Mike. Well, that's kind of what happened yesterday, too, isn't it? <laughs> Early on. Cam Regard picking up at half court. Now Foster. Not posting it, got it to Kuntz. Kuntz has scored all four Highlands points, two minutes in. Foster out top. Highlands had come into last night's game averaging seven three-pointers a game. They only had four last night. Leary was hot. He had three of them, but he had so much foul trouble, he was unable to get anything going. Same with Foster. He's in there with the left hand. It's no good. Rebound, Timmons fought it out of there. Now to Kuntz in the paint, and he's hammered. And Jimmy will shoot two at 532. Jimmy was seven for seven last night. Yes, he was. 76% from the line. And he'll shoot a pair here. Starting lineups, of course, brought to you by Dan Timmons Painting. They got you covered. Cameraman Dan off today, but he will be back with us next Tuesday night when we go to Armstrong and resume section play. Jimmy rips the first, and it's five to nothing. He's got all of them. Yeah, the Rams come into the 19, shooting 67% as a team from the line. It's been it's better than our average has been over the past it's been few years. Long days since that's happened. Well, Jimmy missed a second. Rebound Vikings. And answer Jinx. I do it all the time. Terrible. Just imparting information. Green Miller right side. The dump down and a layup is good by Josh Jenkins. That's the first two points for the Vikings. And it's five to two. That's the deal yesterday against West Day, Mike. They penetrated and scored off the penetration. They weren't shooting from long. Foster. More effective. Foster's going to take a three from right down the middle. It's off the rim, no good. And yeah. rebound, Jamont Green Miller. Now they're out in transition, Mike, as we said they would try. Lots of tips. That should be green ball. It is. Jimmy was the last thumb on it. Jenkins will key it in underneath the hoop. And then they loop it in deep to Corey Simmons. Dwight Hines, the coach, in his second season, he spent four years at Aliquippa prior. 
Very successful there, Mike. Four semifinals, is that what you told me? Three semifinals the last three years of the four he was there. The shot is no good and the rebound is to Leary. And then they opened a job. <laughs> they want to run again. Leary goes all the way through and he got rim rejected underneath. Kuntz tried to fight it out of there, but Green Miller got the rebound. Got to know where you're at, Mike. Here's their transition. And Simmons got it front court and there's Jenkins who's got all four Stowe Rocks points and it's five to four. Leary with a head fake. Drives into the paint, goes all the way in, missed the shot. Leary goes down in a heap. They're not blowing the whistle, no foul so far, just one, I think. On the Vikings, and the Vikings take the lead as Corey Simmons drives all the way through, and they've scored six in a row. So they did against West Day yesterday, Mike. Didn't give up and uh, got right back in it, ended up winning that game. Going to regard, stops and pops, it's a two, and it's good. This first two of the night, and the Rams leapfrog back on top. Cameron answers. Jaymont Green Miller steps back and the long arm of Foster out there on him. Trying to get a reset here. Now they get battling off the ball and they're going to call an offensive foul on Josh Jenkins for putting a body into Carter Leary. We saw a lot of off ball fouls yesterday, Mike. Simmons has one foul, Jenkins has one foul. That's two, and Dwight Hines getting an explanation from the official. By the way, happy birthday to Renee George. We have a birthday girl in the audience tonight. Oh, how about that? Hopefully the Hines Global Rams can provide her with a victory on her birthday. I heard how many, but we're not allowed to say about a lady. <laughs> Won't do it. Oh, Jimmy had it stolen away by Corey Simmons. Back the other way, and uh, that's a call. foul as Pearson went in there, and he got hammered, and he'll shoot two at 308. Well, don't you hate it when you need work done around the house but can't get anyone to call you back, or even worse, you finally get in touch with someone, and they didn't finish the job properly? Well, put those problems aside because the Beanie Home Renovations have been executing home projects and from start to finish in the AK Valley for over a decade. If you're spending your hard-earned money on renovating your home, you expect the job to be done right. Not only does B-New do it all from basements to roofing, they also bring a refreshing level of professionalism to every job from the very first call. Experience the difference today. Call 724-351-3172. Or visit their Facebook page. Beanie Home Renovations, where the B is always busy. That's Jamar Pearson hitting one out of two. The foul is on regard, and we're tied at seven. Hines wants to get out quickly again. Dumps it down low. Long. A little long in there. He's got to do something with it. He's going to get called for three. Now three by Kunst is no good. And the rebound to Stowe Rocks. And they're doing what I thought they should do, Mike. They got the twin towers in there. Long and Foster. This is Green Miller. Now to Simmons' left side. Simmons goes in with a runner, it's no good. Rebound underneath and put up and in as nobody put a body on Pearson. He has his second uh, first basket, third point, and it's 9-7, Stowe Rocks. That's one of those things, my question, who wants it? And they just wanted it more. Kuntz blew up the baseline, goes all the way through and had it blocked by Green Miller, out of bounds. If that would have been last night, it would have been Stowe Rocks' ball. That time the rim didn't protect him like normally it does, but he had some help side defense come over and help with that play. See if Hines gets something off the inbound into Foster. They get it into Foster off the glass. There's a lid on it. And Pearson the rebound. Still rocks with the ball and a two-point lead. Green Miller forecourt. Spin move all the way in. Missed it. Rebound on the weak side, and nobody put a body that time on Drayvon Miller-Ross. Like we're getting out rebounded, and they are... Not as big as we are. Oh, not it, even close. It's a lot of one-two right now. 11-7, Stowe Rocks leads it. Now, Trayvon turnover. Miller-Ross got in, and the Rams stole it away as here comes Tavares. Left side, Regard, three ball missed it. Rebound, Kunz is foul. Jimmy Kunz will go to the line at 136 left first quarter, 11-7, Stowe Rocks. We're missing a lot of layups early, Mike. Kuntz one out of two on his first trip to the line. He has five of the seven points. This is a very similar story to last night when 
Jimmy had 24, but needed some help. He had 24 of the 51. That's not going to get it done. Signorella checks in along with Tavares. Couldn't still get another. It's 11 to 8. And it settles for him. Hines going to apply their own pressure again. Token Ele pressure. 11 9. Marcus Thomas backcourt. Oh, and struggling with it was Ross, but he's able to get it, but Leary stole it away. Leary doesn't have numbers, though. He went with a reverse layup, missed it. Kunst the rebound, slides and saves it, and they're going to say Leary's out of bounds. They could have got Jimmy for walking, too. I think they talked him into that one, Mike, the Stow Rocks coaching staff. For the matinee, we don't have a big crowd here, so you're going to hear everything. <laughs> 11 to 9, the Vikings lead it. 113 left of the first quarter. Into the game for the Vikings, number one, Damian Baxter. Now they get it down low, and there's Pearson again. You know, we've been having a lot of problem with post players that are left handed. Same thing happened last night. Tavares needs help. 13-9 Vikings. Signorella dumped it into Long. Long kicked it back out. Tavares with a head fake, but they close on him quickly. Timmons, corner to Leary. He's open. His three is good. Carter Leary from the corner, and it's 13-12. Carter Leary on the ball reversal, Mike. That was a smart play by the Golden Rams that time. One-point ball game now. 26 seconds left. The arrow belongs to Highlands. Simmons pounds it out top. Now got it back to Jenkins. The Vikings holding for one here as they got four corners. Now they'll set them in motion. Ten seconds left. First quarter. Stowe Rocks 13, Highlands 12. Simmons. Now they kick it back out for three, and it's missed, and Timmons has the rebound. One second. Chandler throws the length of the court. They hit the board, but that'll be the end of the first quarter here at Montour with a score. Stowe Rocks 13, and the Highlands Golden Rams 12. B&J Sports celebrating their sixth decade of outfitting our local teams and the great sports fans of the AK Valley. When it comes to all of your sporting goods needs, look no further than B&J Sports. Glenn Mills and his friendly staff provide that personal touch. Customized high school jackets, team uniforms and trophies, any kind of sports equipment, you just can't beat the service at B&J Sports. b and is located at 1605 Freeport Road, Natrona Heights. They're open 9 to 5, 30 weekdays and Saturdays 9 till noon. Or give Glenn a call, 724-226-2762. Six decades says it all. B&J Sports. Mike, they don't look like they want to shoot much from the outside. I think maybe settle into a zone because, again, in a transition, all they're doing is getting second shots. When you get into a zone, like a 2-3, you can protect that. So it might be an idea for the second quarter here. By the way, our Christmas tournament teams in our section, Mars 5-1. and one, They beat McNichols, Ohio, 74-43. They play Walker Valley, Tennessee today. Shaler, 5 and 1. Excuse me, they're 4 and 4. They lost to Bethel Park 70 to 65. They're going to be playing Plum when we get back from the break. Hines will inbound the ball here to start the second quarter. All right, let's see what we can get going here. 13-12 uh, Spartans. Or I'm, I'm sorry, Spartans on the scoreboard, Vikings. I had enough of those Spartans last night. No more. So it's Tavares. Out to Timmons, he had a little bit of trouble with it, but he controls it. Now down low on the block, still long. He's got an advantage down there, he put it up, missed it. Man, the Rams are just missing so many close ones the last two nights. And he's not leaning in, Mike. No. Rebound to Jenkins. Out to Green Miller. Dribbles through a minefield, and now he'll reset things. Simmons. Extra pass. Baseline Pearson, missed the shot. Rebound long, had it lost. It. Right into the hands of Simmons. Well, that's an easy rebound. you got to control that one. Yep, again, it's the old story. Who wants it, Mike? Right now, Stowe Rocks does. Trayvon Miller-Ross is 11. Now the Vikings going to be patient. Kick it back out. Another three, and this time, Khalil says, give me that thing. Here come the Rams with a chance to take the lead a minute into the second quarter. Tavares travels. This game is following a lot similar script to last night's game. 
And against the Rocks yesterday, they were trailing at halftime to West Allegheny. They came back to win. We were actually ahead yesterday. Oh, Jimmy we? tipped it. He got up there, knocked it into the bleachers down low. They don't have the bottom bleachers open on this side. They're open on the other side today. So that's difference from it last Yeah, time. they have some kind of Hall of Fame thing for the second game of Montour, Mike. Montour West Day. I'm sure West Day will be thrilled to participate in Montour's Hall of Fame. That's lucky well, we didn't get it's that. It's the Pittsburgh Hall of Fame. Oh, the PBC? Oh, okay. Well, John Jamarco will probably be involved Correct. in that then. Here's Green Miller. Back over to Corey Simmons. Simmons drives in. Jimmy got a piece of that, but Simmons going to turn around for 15 in Canada. Boy, Mike, that, that was a tough shot he made. Did there. everything right. Yeah, defensively. Signorella ahead of the pack, and it's blocked. F flying through the air was Miller Ross. And here they come on transition. Simmons all the way through. Leary tried to save it, but it's Stowe Rocks basketball. 15 12 Vikings. They've led by as many as four. The Rams led 5 to nothing, so we're another one of those. 15 7 uh, Stowe Rocks run. Coach calls out for a three game, Mike. Basically, that's you want to isolate the triangle, the old Laker triangle, and try to work one side of the floor. Simmons almost dragged the pivot foot and got it to Ross right side. And there's the three guys on the right side of the floor, Mike. There's your triangle. Jenkins steps back for three, and it's good. First one they've hit tonight. Jenkins has seven now, and it's 18 12. Coenston are going to call an offensive foul. I think it's on Chandler Timmons. It wow. is. There's an old story there, Mike. you got to be looking for that one, and they were. Second foul on Highlands. So the lethargy that was uh, all over the Highlands team last night is not left. Yeah, Mike, we wondered how they respond here today. and uh, They have on. it. They have yeah, it. A little flat so far. We've got a long way to go in this one, though, Mike. There's Miller all the way through. Laid it up. I think it got blocked. Another shot is blocked. And here comes Kunst the other way. Out to Timmons. Bounce pass to Regard and out of control. But they're back. That's the thing. You try to get those fast breaks. And now the other direction. And second shot is missed as Pearson was open. And Kunst for court. Regard. Got to hit a shot here. Got to take a shot, Mike. Step one. This is what happens when you hustle on defense. It makes it hard to get an open look. Foster threw a wild one up and missed it, and Timmons is out of bounds. It's still Rock's ball. Not too much happening offensively, Mike. There's a lot of standing around going on. And I always say, if you're standing around, you're making a mistake. And all of a sudden, you look up, and they're ahead by six. They no, I mean, they got a Highlands team that came in here averaging 72 a game. They came in last night averaging 77 at 12 points. Yep. And we're almost halfway through the second quarter here. After 51 last night, runner is missed. Kunst the rebound is driving in there was Jamont Green Miller. Kunst the other way. Yeah, got bodied we're, with no call. Runner, Mike, we got to convert. Well, and they've, they've, they have not had an open shot because Zill Rocks is coming back on defense. Oh, great feed. It won't go, though. And Foster's over the back. Yeah. Once again, that's ball position. Great defensive rebounding position that time. That's the first on Foster. Team fouls three apiece. Not a whole lot in the foul department. Rams haven't really haven't gotten close enough to anybody to foul. And it's 18 12. And that just proves, Mike, at six foot eight, if they got position, they're going to get the rebound. That time they did. Off the inbound, they work it into Pearson, but the Rams had that covered. Back outside for three. It's off the rim, and again, Stowe rocks the rebound. Up with a left hand is Simmons, and it's good. And now it's 20 to 12. They wanted to travel. Mike didn't get it. Here's Regard for court. Timmons carries it all the way home, put it up no good. It's one and out every time for Highlands, too. Yeah, that shouldn't be that way, Mike. We should be able to control the glass with our size, but we're not. Now the Vikings will be patient. 3.40 to go first half. They lead by eight. And a block as Simmons went in there. 
And now I think Rams lost it out of bounds. They did. Last off Foster. And Stowe Rocks will get it back at 334. Stowe Rocks came into this game 3-1. They beat Farrell, Nazareth, Prep, and West Allegheny and lost to Newcastle. That's their only loss. Stowe Rocks wants a timeout. Tell you about Wireless Zone. John Mesa right to our left. Independent Verizon Wireless franchise in America, the largest one. Whether you're a small business, a big family, or just need a new phone, Wireless Zone can help. At Wireless Zone, we're dedicated to finding the right device for you, your family, your business, and your lifestyle. Our stores offer competitive prices on today's most popular smartphones, devices, and accessories with award-winning customer service. Stop in today and see what makes Verizon the world's largest and most reliable network. Get 5G ready and visit your Wireless Zone headquarters at Natrona Heights at the Walmart Plaza and at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall. Or find the Wireless Zone store nearest you by visiting wirelesszone.com. Again, Mike, uh, getting back into our section, Indiana is going to be off until after Christmas. They're going to come back and host Mars. They're two and four. Plum in at three and four. Lost to Red Bank Valley last night, 63-43. They play Freeport today at Freeport. And by the way, I solved the mystery of River Valley. Yeah, they're they're like in Blairsville. It's a combination of Blairsville and Salzburg. Yeah, that's, they're out there. Yeah, and Coach Stitt, who's been there forever at Salzburg, is the head coach there, too. Oh, okay. Well, it's going to take a while to get them to blend together. They're one and five, but uh, they have two quality programs. Hopefully they're going to make a mark for themselves eventually, but struggling not one and five. Leechburg, again, the only undefeated team left in our valley. Simmons for three, and he's ice cold from downtown. He's got nine, and the Rocks leads it 23-12. Almost doubled up the Golden Rams. Now, well, Timmons just got it stolen from behind, and here's Jenkins with a flush. Six foot three, Mike, and he made that flush look easy. And that fires them up over there. 25 to 12. And again, as we said it last night, the Rams fixing to get blowed out. Long step. And they're going to say Khalil got fouled. He'll get to shoot two. It'll be his first trip to the line this year. 237 left first half. Montour, or uh, Stowe Rocks, you say Montour because it says Spartans on the board. <laughs> Stowe Rocks leads at 25 to 12. Now, Montour didn't look this good. <laughs> Khalil's first trip to the line for the year. Kunst was there four times, made three of them. The Rams have made four baskets. Ouch. We can reminisce about those at halftime. Khalil will get another. Two thirty-seven left of the first half. And we'll be on the road, Mike, for our first section game coming off Christmas. We'll be at Armstrong on Tuesday the 4th. Missed them both. Rebound Josh Jenkins. Not going to be in no rush now. No, Dwight Hines is not going to be in much of a hurry. Defending Section 2 AA champions. And you're seeing why. A lot of these guys played last year and not a lot of seniors out there either. There's a block by Long and Ross turned around and said, what was that? But there's a foul. Cole got his money's worth on that one. Yep. That's his first. Four team fouls apiece. And Drayvon Miller-Ross to the line, the 6'2 junior. Armstrong's going to place Dale Valley today at Deer Lakes. Ross will get another at the 212 mark. 26 to 12. They got the doubler. Second one does not get the roll, and Foster's got the rebound. Out to Jimmy Kuntz. I like what they're doing offensively, Mike. Just got to put the ball in the basket. They ran it well in transition, but just not making a layup. Long to Tavares. Ball was tipped. And he got good defense that time. Is getting a hand on it was Ross. There's Miller all the way through. Missed it. Rebound. How many second chances? Shot they is had, missed. Mike? Foster with a swap, but they call the foul. How many second chances? Well, offensive third chances yeah. and fourth chances and shouldn't be happening with our size. 
Tavares gets called for it. That's why Foster wasn't happy. It wasn't him. That's the fifth team file against Highlands. And this is Jamar Pearson. And he drains the first. Pearson's first point of the second quarter. Highlands has not scored in the second quarter. There's 146 left of the second quarter. So there's plenty of time to try to make a basket. Ouch. When's the last time that happened, Mike? I don't know. I wasn't here. Pearson missed a second, but going up to pull it down is Marcus Thomas. That has happened way too often in this game, Mike. I'd say they're flat-footed, but that'd be giving them too much credit. Well, Mike, here's the problem, too. As I said, I'd like to see us play a zone, but you can't play a zone when you're down 27 to 12. No, sir. 125 left, and... Yeah. Working inside, and Leary did get a piece of that. Three on two. Couldn't splits the defense. Goes in, and it gets fouled and goes down hard. I think they're going to get Jamont Green Miller. It'll be a two-shot foul. Kuntz will go to the line and shoot those at a 27-12 ball game. That is on Miller is correct, and that's the 15 foul against Stow Rocks. Kuntz is three for four tonight. Again, we said came in shooting 76%. First is good. Jimmy getting that soft roll. The Rams break the ice. They've scored in the second quarter with 113 to go. 27-13. Missed a second. Corey Simmons the rebound. It's a 14-point, two touchdowns, Stowe Rocks lead. Here's Simmons. Oh, they got a wide open Miller. Drives all the way to the basket, but Foster got a piece of it. Came back and hung on there for Ross. Wouldn't go, but the rebound's put back up and in. Three putbacks, Mike. That's crazy. This can't happen. 29-13, and we got a foul at the other end. Where are his block outs, too? It's just, you know, they're, Stowe Rocks is not as big as Hines, but they're definitely getting position, and they're getting putbacks. That's just effort there, Mike. Yeah, rebounding is want to. They always say that, yeah. and uh, they are hustling. And we saw this from them last night, too. Leary makes the first. That's his fourth point of the night. He is now five for seven on the season. Wes Unsell for many years <laughs> led the NBA in rebounding, and he wasn't the biggest, but he was the best. And there's Son's a coach one, now. How about that? In the NBA, I believe. Leary steps into a three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound. Leary chases it down. 38 seconds left in the half. 29-14. Rocks leads it. Leary tried to dump it off to Foster, but... Again, good hustle. Signorella stole it back, and he got fouled backcourt. And the Rams will shoot the one and one at 27 seconds. And Signorella will shoot his first foul shot of the year. I think that was four turnovers in that possession back and forth. Thomas picks up his second. Hampton, Mike, they beat Grove City yesterday, 75-57. They host North Hills today. I was going to say Hills, they got North Hills in the championship game. game. Good yeah. luck there. And yeah, North Hills is very good. They should today. get a nice crowd for that one, huh? Yeah. Signorella misses the front end. And Ross has the rebound. 22 seconds left. 29-14. Kind of applying pressure now. Let's see what Stowe Rock can do with it. And Signorella again with some good hustle to steal it. Rams get it back. Here's Leary. I think Sig might have earned himself some playing time in the second half. Spin move by Kuntz. Stops, pops, scores. Maybe that'll get us started, Mike. Kuntz in the double figures with 10, and that's the end of the first half. And the Rams have dug themselves a hole. It's 29 to 16. Stowe Rocks. Planet Fitness at the Heights Plaza in Atrona Heights is your home of the judgment-free zone. Planet Fitness provides a clean and spacious environment where everyone is free to work out in a non-intimidating atmosphere for as little as $10 a month. Whether you're just starting out, getting back in your groove, or want to work off those holiday pounds, 
Work out with a certified trainer at Planet Fitness at no extra cost with the PE at PF program. With memberships starting as low as $10 a month, you could start off the new year with quality high fitness at an awesome price. Come down to Planet Fitness, Natrona Heights, and meet our friendly staff. Welcome to the planet. We're at halftime in Montour with a score of Stow Rocks 29 and Highland 16. We'll be back with stats and more right after this. We are back at halftime with the uh, Stow Rocks Vikings leading the Highlands Golden Rams 29 to 16, Dean. Well, let's talk about Phoenix rehabilitation. We need some board rehabilitation and get some rebounds in there. Are you or someone you know in need of physical or occupational therapy? Consider a caring therapist at Phoenix Rehabilitation Health Service in the Toronto Heights. Zach Bartolova and his staff specialize in one-on-one -on -one personal care coupled with the latest techniques and equipment and physical therapy services. They deal with any type of injury, specialize in orthopedic conditions, including sports and workman comp compensation injuries. Phoenix will help you get to your goal of returning the activities you love to do most. Phoenix Rehabilitation and Health Service is conveniently located at 1601 Union Avenue in Toronto Heights. They have flexible hours for your convenience, so call them today at 724-224-5090 to set up an appointment or go on to the web at phoenixphysicaltherapy.com. Halftime stats are brought to you by Mason Elite Hoops, training K-12 through back in the old spot at Pittsburgh Mills Mall. So check in for that. You have your stats now. You're good to go, right? You, I have. Jimmy you're back. You're back in your normal position. Petey Foster's arrived. We're good to go. Yep, there was an accident 28, so Petey got here to help us out. Jimmy Quince has 10. Carter Leary has 4. Cam Rygard has 2. And I'm going to turn the Stowe Rock scoring over to you, Michael. All right. We will go with 9 points for Corey Simmons, 9 points for Josh Jenkins, 8 points for Jamar Pearson, and 3 for Drayvon Miller-Ross. And that is their total of 29, 29 to 16. The Vikings lead it at halftime, and uh, you see the Rams in the huddle down to our right. Well, Mike is going to come down to a lot of one-two here in the second half here. Again, as I said, you find out more about teams after they lose than when they win. And I, I don't know if it's a Christmas break. I don't know if it's not being in Harrisburg. I don't know if it's the afternoon, but. Uh, we are in a scoring funk right now, and again, be getting beaten up on the board just unacceptable. We're mm -hmm. bigger than them. We should be able to get position, and it's, a lot of it's just been effort so far. Has been. Remember, halftime stats brought to you by Mason Elite Hoops. Visit the Mason Elite Facebook page for more information. Second half about to get underway. Last time we played Stowe Rocks, remember? It was the 17th of December, 2011, so it was 10 years ago. At Ambridge, Stowe Rocks won 58 to 56 that afternoon out at Ambridge. The coaches, Highlands was coached by Sean Venice, and Stowe Rocks was coached by Bill Minear. We saw Bill yesterday's coach in Montero now. So here are the Vikings. Highlands gonna start off in a 1-3-1. This is Simmons and Green Miller playing catch out top. It's gonna take them a little while to figure it out. They go down underneath and a shot by Thomas is blocked and Timmons has it, but boy, quickly, Josh Jenkins gets in there to get in the passing lane, and they do get in passing lanes. Turnovers were pretty even, like six to five, but again, just we got beat up on the glass. No, we did bad. And they try to throw a tough cross-court pass against the zone. Hines picked it off, now they gotta go to work down low. Here we go. Oh, Foster goes right through the double team, but can't get it to go, now the second, second one is good. That's his first basket of the afternoon. And he comes in averaging 14 and a half, Mike, so we gotta get him going here in the second half. Rams have scored five. There you go. And there's Foster with a block. And it's Highlands basketball. How about that? It was 29-13 at one point. Maybe his brother Petey on camera is going to inspire him in the Maybe. second half. Maybe. Here's Foster for court. Out to Timmons. Now Kuntz got around a man, drives all the way in, lays it up and scores. And now Snow Rocks needs a timeout. The Rams have come out, scoring the first two baskets. And are on an 7 nothing run. How about that? 29-20. Philippi's Family Dining and Pizzeria was born in Natrona Heights in 1999, and it didn't take long for the name to become synonymous with great food and overwhelming community support. Philippi's offers burgers, wings, specialty sandwiches, wraps, and, of course, pizza. Not just any pizza, but the often imitated, never duplicated Birdville pie. Sounds like a library in here, doesn't it? Yeah, I, should, very I should get the golf voice. <laughs> Maybe with their special super secret recipe. A super for the, secret. For the Birdville section of the Heights where Philippi's is located, it'll be an eight-footer with a break left to right. The kitchen is open after the game, so stop by and say hi. 
Call 724-226-3505 for takeout or to order a partially baked Birdville pie to take home. Remember, they serve a full breakfast every morning starting at 8 o'clock for those of us that are up at that time. So that's Philippi's Family Dining and Pizzeria, Freeport Road, Natrona Heights. <laughs> hey, Mike, I can tell you one thing. Uh, we're going to have our Hall of Fame induction on Friday, January 28th. We'll be hosting the uh, River, River Hawks of Armstrong. Armstrong team, yes. And we will definitely be going to Philippines afterwards be with fun. our Hall of Fame inductees. We'll be there. You can be there. Come over and meet Come everybody. Come join us. It's always fun. That That's always a fun night. Um, and the reason why, Mike, that's that used to be our rendezvous spot with that team. Yeah. The Watuckies and Kapurvna cars, Greg and Kirk. Look Ooh. at that. Oh, they split it. That was like the running infield in. And they got an easy basket at the other end. Jenkins lays it in. He's got 11. Well, that broke the string. It's 31-20. I thought we were going to surprise them, Mike. They surprised us. Part of like the Red Sea, right down to Foster. Foster again. That's Rams are finding some easy baskets yeah. down low. Foster all four of his in the third quarter, and it's 31-22. Never a bad idea. Here we go. You got your trap here, Ooh, Mike. We almost walked there, throw it into open space, but they get a two-on-one. Simmons had it blocked by Foster. Simmons again, and a foul on Highlands. He got Foster off his feet that time, Mike. But again, Brayton did a great job blocking that first one. Foster picks up his second. second. Mr. Simon is going to know that Brayton was there, though. That's for sure. First left-hander is good. We've had a lot of left-handers the last couple of nights. That's 10 points for Corey Simmons. 32-22, rocks by 10. Second one is also good. Back, lead back to 11. Foster four court, 11 point ball game. This is Carter Leary. Hey, get Carter going from downtown. Here's Kuntz, the Rams have only hit four three pointers in these two games. Kuntz runner, missed everything. Timmons had the rebound and a foul. Gonna get Timmons I think over the back, no? No, I think they're calling still rocks and that's yeah, not a good you're call. Right. That isn't a good call because Pearson had, he just had position and Chandler went over his back. But thank, frankly, we'll take it. That's three on Jamar Pearson. And he is a quality 6-1 player. He is. They have a lot of quality on this team. Ah, but good deflection there. We get, Rams got a break. Maybe they're starting to get a bounce or two as it came to Regard in the corner. Now Kunst. Timmons loops it down to Foster. Foster, turn around up. No good. Rebound tipped. Timmons has it, saves it for a moment, but into the hands of Miller. Two on one again, and they run the break, but got rim rejected. Thomas did. Now what's the call? They're going to get Leary. Yep. Right in front of the Stowe Rocks bench at 535 third quarter. Vikings by 11. Trying to kid for Stowe Rocks a little too quick for himself. Mike, he found himself under the basket, and that's the worst place to be, especially when you're trying to get a shot out. That's Carter's first. Mentioned Greg Kapurvnikar, Mike. Uh, Ken Hoffman, the scorer for Stowe Rocks, you mentioned him earlier, did a lot of work for Point Park. First name out of his mouth was Greg Kapurvnikar. There you go. Rams backcourt. Oh, oh high there dribble. And there's the carry. Highlands ball at 526. Well, the one good thing about this quarter, the Rams have only shaved two points off the lead, but they've done it in a way that the, the not much clock has run off. And Mike, another name came out was Paul Salk. A couple of Highlands grads that articulated to Point Park University. It was Point Park College back in those days. Carter Leary with good a when razor. It. Yep. They're loose on the floor, and what's the call? It's a jump ball. Highlands has possession at 5-12. Ken, by the way, Paul Zeiss was an associate of his. Can you believe that? How about that? He's legendary, Kenny Homan, yep. in the McKees Rocks area. On nine WPL staffs at uh, one championship, Mike, both boys and girls. Now was well defended that time by Josh Jenkins, and Highlands is keeping it. In front of their bench, Coach Hines exercised right now with his squad. He's an Aliquippa grad and went to UPJ. Leary right side. Loop it in the brain. Open his regard. Yep. Put it on the floor. Foster. Jumper. It's the side of the board. Comes right to Kunst. 
And Cut. one shoots and scores and draws the foul. Jimmy's got 14 now. Golden Rams down nine. Second foul on Josh Jenkins. And coming into the game for the Vikings is Trayvon Miller-Ross, number 11. Kunst at the line, a chance to complete the three-point play. He's four for six this afternoon. Still afternoon, isn't it? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. only 20 after four. And Jimmy has it. He's got 15. And the Rams have cut it to eight. 33-25. What was there? Yeah. Now Ross got it to a wide open man underneath. They're getting a lot of easy baskets off the pressure. That's well, 10 for Pearson, and it's 35-25. I always tell you, good teams turn this into layup drills. Regard missed a wide open three. Cooks flashed through there, can't get it to go. And Miller the rebound. Rams had three good looks. Yep. There Steal you go. by Regard. Regard. Did Leary get there? No, it was a good play by Miller to get in his way. Set the moving screen. Simmons now. Simmons goes by Timmons, missed that's the a shot. Walk, Mike, to that ball. Aw. Well, that's one of those where the fact that there were two of them there and no brown shirts is more disturbing than the fact that they got away with the travel. And I don't think Chandler followed me. That's his second foul. No, I don't either. It had to be lower body, if anything. That'll send Corey Simmons to the line. He's made two here in this quarter. We've played half of this quarter. First by Simmons is good. He's got 12, and it's 36-25. Rams trailed by 13 at halftime. They trail by 11 now. Mike, we did have one winner this uh, Christmas holiday. The JBs beat Char Valley on Monday. Your buddy Dom Stobert had the game-winning three-pointer in the closing seconds, buried it from the corner. Downtown Dom Stobert from way downtown. And it, it was the dagger, as they call it. Simmons made them both. Now we'll have substitutions. Long and Tavares came in for Highlands at the last break. 37-25, Stowe Rock still leading by 12. Now the Rams break the press. They have a three on two. Tavares takes it right to the basket, lays it up and scores. Part of like the Red basket. Sea for Jordan, his first. First bench points for Highlands, it's 37-27. Jenkins got it over to Simmons, and that's a pretty good idea. J. Mike Green Miller scoreless so far with nothing. He leads him in scoring with 13. And there he is, right side, going to try to fix that. Off the rim, thought I jinxed it backwards. Long the rebound. Here come the Rams down 10. Kuntz now. Stops. Turnaround, 360 short. Simmons has it. Tough shot, Mike, because you don't get sight of the rim. And they're going to get Carter Leary. That'll be two on Carter, I believe. Yeah, Mike, the last two days, the other teams have beaten us down the court. That's never a good thing because it turns into a layup drill. Regard in for Kunst. That is two on Carter. We have officially from the book downstairs. Now they loop it in deep. Well, Ross comes back to get it. Ross dribbles into the paint, carried it through. What's the call? Oh, man, they're going to call a foul. No basket, and it's on the floor. I don't see it, Mikey. If anything, it's walking. Or now they're going to talk about foul. it. Yeah. And the official's saying that that was a, they're not going to give him the basket, but they're calling the foul. <laughs> John Mason, it was five yards before. <laughs> John, you're giving him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Third foul on Leary, and that was a bad one. And two in a hurry. Yep. Ten point ball game. Damian Baxter, number one. This is Drayvon Miller Ross. Yep, he, he wins the hair award tonight. Yep. What's the call? Timeout still rocks as. Dwight Hines saw his man in trouble. Interesting thing they did there, Mike. They went to isolate him, and Hines went right to a double team. So both coaches got what they wanted, but 
Again, Highlands forced him to take a timeout. Joe Lakino and his son Joe would like to welcome you to Lakino Insurance and Financial Group. Serving the AK Valley for decades, Lakino is a broad based financial advisory firm with a wide range of opportunities for both you and your businesses. While most of you are trying to navigate the new normal, now more than ever, it's important to look at your insurance policies and make sure they're doing their job for you. Life insurance and investment. Talk to Joe and Joe. They always know they're located at 2318 Freeport Road next to Donut Connection or call them at 724-224-8908 or 724-905-7583. Why wait? Let Lucino Insurance Financial Group put you on the road to financial stability today. Just a reminder, it's end of the year. Check out those stocks and make sure you make all your moves before the 31st. At tax purposes, yeah, right? That's right, baby. <laughs> I'm a tax man. You don't know until the 15th, but they count everything that happens to the 31st, saying, and Highlands gets the basketball. Hey, we mentioned Petey Foster jumping in on camera tonight. You know, this has been Dom Stobert's deal. He would come in and do this, but now he's dressed for varsity, so he can't come up here anymore. He'll be dressed for varsity next year. That good? He's that good. He's, he's a foster. Is he as good as his brother? Let's not go that far. Let's yet. not go that far. He's only in eighth grade. <laughs> Here's Long, out top to Tavares. His brother's wide open, I gotta give him the ball. Leary with a head look at, Mike, look at that, there you go. There's Foster against That's the smaller man. Pickings. And he got bodied, knocked down by Jenkins. There was no call, and the Vikings have it. Nearly a steal by Regard. Oh, what? and he, there on the go. line. Well, good defense by Cameron Regard that time. Cameron, the last two trips has disturbed their offense. They now have 10 turnovers. Highlands only with seven, one here on the half, but again, not cutting into that lead very much. Can we get it to six before the quarter break? Yep. That's, that, that'd be, that's my ask. That'd be great. 2.17 that's my to go. Ask. Leary left side. And again, Rams not shooting it from the outside at all. Leary went there all the way go. in, and that they draw the foul. foul. Rams have one three-pointer tonight. They had four yesterday. And we've been doing about seven a game prior to that. Maybe it's this place. <laughs> the Rams are one and four here since January of 18, and... Looking to go one and five here since January of 2018. And we got a play again here. We got Quaker Valley, who's one of the top teams in Montour's League. Yeah. yeah. This is Leary, and he drains the first. Two for two from the line for Carter. He's got five points now. 37 28, 208 left third quarter. Six or under after the break here. That's not too much no, to ask. Uh, give us a shot here in the fourth, that's for sure. There Leary hit him both. He's got six. Jimmy Quincy, after rest, checks back in. Let's see if we've got all the engines fired up here, Mike, for the Car final 208 of the third. Carter's pushed himself to 70% at the foul line this year. So, there. 37-29. Now, Mike, they've got a layup out of this. Ooh, oh. nearly a walk. Yeah, they didn't throw. You got to go over top. I learned that from Dick Crow. Almost over, over back. Over it back. Is. Oh, you get 82 interpretations of that one, but we'll take the call. Highlands has it. Less than two left, third quarter. And he is getting that explanation from the referee right now. And the coach is not <laughs> too happy about that. Dwight Hines again. You'll get three explanations tonight and three more to yep. the referees. And next you go game. on. Go online and look up over and back and try to get two things that say the same thing. Kunst in a double team. Out to Tavares. Ah, ah different pages together. Tavares and Timmons, and they turn it over. Eighth Highlands turnover. That could be a costly one, Mike. Hey, your boy Mobley just walked in. <laughs> Mike Foster double banger. Ooh. Belongs to the Vikings. They'll be playing West Allegheny in the nightcap here. They go backcourt and chasing it down is Miller. Now they got a advantage as Jenkins stops and pops. It's off the front rim. No good, but Khalil Long gets it and sends the Rams on a three on two. Timmons, Tavares, corner to Curse. Three ball up, in and out, rebounded. Boy, every bounce. And nobody back, Mike. Yep. And the layup is made. And that's the problem. When you send everybody to the glass, that leaves nobody back. Thomas now gets his first basket. Marcus Thomas, first of the night. You had it. And a foul on Highlands underneath. Boy, that was it right there. Yeah, that was your chance. They cut it to six. That was your number. Khalil Long picks up the foul. His that's second. his second. Yeah. Team sixth. 
Jenkins. Oh, now splitting everybody. Long What's wrong with that, Mike? I don't know. I don't know. Simmons went through. Corey Dodgson can't believe it. Did he block it too hard? Maybe he did. He said he hit him on the head. Wow. Really? Oh, there you go. <laughs> said he hit him on the head. Rewind that one. I didn't see it. That's crucial, Mike. You're trying to make a comeback, you got to get the calls to go your way on top of it, and we didn't get that one. Corey Simmons is making a living from the yeah. foul line here in his third quarter. He's hit five for five from the charity stripe. That's all of his third quarter points. He has 14. And again, he's an all-section guy. 15, 41, 29. You look up and they haven't cut into it at all. I don't mean it. Timmons had to pop up on him, and now they travel and give it back. Back-to-back -back turnovers, Mike, and those are unforced turnovers, too. They're the ones that really hurt, but Hines again. Get Devon Ross checking back in. Hope everybody's having a good holiday out there. A safe and happy new year coming up over the weekend. I like that one, Mike. Oh, nice pat pass to Tavares. Out to Kunz for three. No good. Yeah, Still loose. They're going to get Tavares. From behind. And the Rams are just ice cold from outside. Yeah, they Mike. cannot yeah. make by a basket. Getting good looks. On the jump shot. That's one on one. That's our eighth team foul, Mike. So we're well into the one on one. So the Vikings will spend their time at the foul line here the rest of the game. 43 seconds left, third quarter. And Stowe Rocks leads it by 12. They led by 13 at halftime. Close it down to eight, I think, was the closest we got. Yeah, I think you're right. And they had a chance to get it to six. Missed the front end. Long the rebound. Now Tavares. Foster, he's open. His three is off the rim, no good. We Rebound, Timmons one. is fouled. We cannot buy a basket, Mike. Carter Leary made a three in the first quarter. That's the only one the Rams have hit tonight. Ouch. Timmons going to the line, only shooting 33% from the foul line. Let's see if he can improve on that. There you go. Chandler will get another. 41-30. Stowe Rocks leads it. Kunston Foster get a rest. Tavares, Regard, Timmons, Long, and Signorello, the five out there for Highlands. 32 seconds left, third quarter. Second one is out. And the rebound is to Treshawn Barron, number zero. Now Simmons goes all the way in with a hanger. He missed it. Regard has it. Rams have time. 19 seconds. Signorella right side. Back to Regard. Signorella's on the baseline. Mike, he wasn't on the baseline. He was in the, fir in the first row. <laughs> Ten turnovers. Now number 10, Amari Hibbler comes into the game. 6-1 junior. And they'll play for the last one now. They will. They, they have the arrow, walk, too. They yeah. get, a, they get a, uh, a two for. Oh, oh, they worked it inside to Hibbler, and he had a block. Five Plenty seconds. Time. Tavares has time. time. Take it to the hoop. Get fouled. And he does. Yes, he does. Good job, Jordan Tavares. Nine-tenths of a second left in the third, and it's 41-30. So the Rams can get it to single digits here if Jordan can make a couple. They're going to call it on the floor? No. Jordan will shoot two. He is four for six on the year. Timeout by Stow Rocks, I would guess. Because I don't know. I don't know that we want to ice our foul shooter. That's interesting, Mike. With nine tenths of a second to go. Well, I guess we can tell you about unflooded. How's that? This Why don't we do that? It could be time for trivia here in a yeah. second, right? Has your home or business ever been damaged by water or mold? Then you know how stressful that situation can be. Our friends at Unflooded are here to help. For a broken pipe, sewer backup, or flooding, they have the expertise to get your home dry and ready for repairs. When it comes to having mold in your home, they will come in, assess the situation, and put together a game plan for removing the mold and keep it from coming back. Visit unflooded.com 
or call Brian Maher at 888-650-7767 any time of the day. And that's a Stowe Rocks timeout. There, are, they only have two left. What so, Mike? Oh, Highland, they, yeah, they called it not shooting, so maybe Corey did call it. Oh boy! To try to set up a play. Wow! I thought for sure it was a shooting foul. Tipped out of bounds. Well, that took seven tenths of a second. That's a quick finger. Well, now you can't shoot it. You got to have a tip. Do they know this? We'll find out. They do try to get it to Khalil, but good job by. Ross to knock it away. The Rams get nothing. That's the end of the third quarter with a score. Stowe Rocks 41 and Highlands 30. Well, Mike, we didn't get our wish to get it down to under single digits, and it's going to be a tough fourth quarter here for the Golden Rams to come back. Yesterday, Mike, we did the unbeatens. We said there were 16. Today's trivia, how many teams in the WPL have not won a game going into the Christmas break? Okay, that's good. Um... Let me see. I'm going to do my math. I'm going to try to do. I, I got. I got the right yesterday. You did right on the button. Yeah, but we're 16. I, but my system was completely wrong trying to figure it <laughs> out. There are six classifications. Six. So you would figure that there were probably three or four in each one. I'm going to. I'm going to go with 21 because of Roberto Clemente. I'm going 21. Reverse that number. 12. 12. That makes me feel better because I would <laughs> feel bad for the 21 teams. Now I only have to feel bad for 12. Well, Mike, one of those teams actually won a game during the Christmas break. But again, Good. prior to Christmas in 6A, our buddies down in Greensburg said they not won a game yet. Paul Sapochny was yeah. uh, honored uh, recently. Yeah. He was going to be honored. Um, and in 5A, Mike, Char Valley, can you believe that? It's not one again. Yeah, right? I did notice that. They're in the same section as Montour and Quaker Valley and all those guys' section of death. We'll get to the other ones after this, but again, 12 teams have not won a game. All they want for Christmas is their first victory. Well, the Rams improved. They scored four points in the second quarter. They scored 14 in the third. But still, 30 is a paltry total for this group. Yep. Malley got a two on one, wide open. Jamar Pearson has 12, and it's 43-30, and they have thrived on the press. And he's made a living, Mike, just standing underneath the basket. Ball's tipped out of bounds by Rocks. Highlands will keep it, and they're back to their 13-point lead that they had at halftime. So a lot of hard work, but nothing to show for it for the Golden Rams here. Well, it's been even since they've been doing this. How about a foul there? There you go. Frank, Thank you. And frankly, if you'd have been playing that way the whole first half, maybe the game would be even right now. Yep. It's been even in the third quarter when they turned it up a notch. Corey Simon's going to pick up his third. He has 15 points and a lot of that damage from the foul line. So Rocks is at two threes. Highlands is at one. And the Rams are going to have to shoot their way back in it. There's no other way around it. That's what that three-point line's for. Here's Leary. He's Good open. Try. Here it comes. Off the rim. Foster underneath. Put it in. Soft hands of Braden Foster. He now has six. All of them here in the second half. It's 43-32. The key here, Mike, is not that getting that two-on-one they've been getting on a fast break after they break the pressure. This is Simmons had trouble with it, but there are no Rams there for it. Stolen. Now Jenkins had it stolen away, and Kunst is going the other direction. Kunst is fouled. Jimmy, Jimmy shoots yeah. two. They turn the clock off at 7.04. He was waiting for that contact. Mike finally got it. And uh, you're right, Mike. The clock is Stowe Rock's friend, and they keep turning it off, and that's to Hodden's advantage. Kunst but, five for seven from the line today. Rams have been there quite a bit, much more than last night. 16 for Jimmy. Makes the first. And I have figured out that uh, at current pace, Jimmy needs to average 21.2 the rest of the way to uh, hit 1,000 in the regular season if we play them all, which is debatable. Saved out of there by Timmons. Now to Regard. One more pass back. Regard's open for three and off the rim, no good. Rebound, Kunst on the weak side. Now to Leary driving through. Leary's foul. No, they call it. You've got to be kidding me. That's you're, horrible. You're a lot of step and a half to the basket, Mike. <laughs> wow. Unless the rules have been updated, I don't know about it. I missed something there. There's no way. 
43-33. Stell Rock's forecourt, it's tipped away by Highlands out of bounds and Vikings will keep it at 641. Tuesday the 4th at uh, Armstrong, we will resume section play and then our next home game will be next Friday night when Shaler comes in, remember what they did to Logan Bernesser did to the Rams last year. He made that flat-footed jump shot, Mike, that did us in our only loss in section. And they got blasted by Mars in their first section. Yeah, they were really surprised by that. 500 club right now. They're 4-4. Uh, four and four. Oh, Boy, they call that late, Mike. They did. Are they going to get Cam? No, Braden. No, you're correct. And this will be two shots. And... Drayvon Miller-Ross, 6'2 junior, will go to the line. Ten points, Stowe Rock's lead. They've kind of coasted here after they led 29-16 at halftime. It's not like they're lighting it up in the second half either. First one's no good. Nope. He's the guy you want to follow, Mike. He's 0 for 2 from the line so far. Man, we've seen a lot of left-handers the last couple of nights, haven't we? We have. I'm a lefty. Second one. Off the rim. Look at this fight. And they just grab it right out of there as Pearson goes in amongst the tall trees, pulls down the rebound, gets fouled, and he'll shoot two. Well, a lot of blockout drills coming up in the next couple of days, in my opinion. Because that's all that is. You have the inside spot, Mike. There is no way he should be able to get inside of you. That could be one of those Tom Myers practices where they don't use any basketballs. Uh, those are banned. <laughs> Missed the first. They're trying to cooperate with us, Mike. We should, honest Scott, we had brick drills we called. No basketballs. Each kid got two bricks. He left the stands down, and they ran for a half an hour. The good news is their arms became two inches longer. The bad news is they couldn't shoot for a week. So. <laughs> the second one by Pearson is good. I watched a drill at a Penguin practice once. Bob Johnson was the coach the year. He was the coach. They won the Stanley Cup that year. He did a penalty killing drill where he had the penalty killers have their sticks upside down and they used the butt ends instead of the blades. Here's Jimmy for <laughs> Jimmy three. Jimmy for three. Now that'll get you moving. Exactly. <laughs> John Mason's with me over there. They're, they are they are down in these games because they're not shooting the ball well. Here's Regard. 44-36. Spot up three. Foster's going straight down the lane. It's there scored. You go. Soft shot by Foster. He's got eight. Go There's, around. Now we're at six, man. Back in it. We got the six and a lot of time, Mike. Six. Oh, nearly a walk back court by Corey Simmons. Miller. Oh, almost gets it across. By three on one. And the basket is good, and they draw the foul. That's been the backbreaker, Mike. That's this is easy a layup. team that knows how to break the press and how to score yeah. off it. And the Rams got beat on those last night, too. Mm -hmm. Bomb on tour. 46-38. Kunz picks up his first. So, chance to complete the three-pointer old-fashioned way. Jamar Pearson has 15. He's tied with Simmons for the team lead. That's 30 of their 46. That's a goodly number. Oh, man, wide right. There you go. Make those mental notes. I think you got to put them on a foul line. Leary to Kunst. Wide open regard out of the corner. I think they got a piece of that. And it's saved and on the leak out. Here's Miller all the way through. His Too first basket easy. of the game. Too easy, Mike. Leary to Foster. Spins, turns, off the glass. No good. Rebound tipped. Rocks has it. Two on Two one on again. One. Here we go again. And Timmons did a good job to get back there and alter that one. Here's Foster. And, but the Rams don't have numbers. But Stowe Rocks bails him out with a foul. Highlands is two on four there. Jamar Pearson picks up his fourth, Mike. Five minutes to go here. Cole Rams trying to cut to this lead. He wasn't shooting. What? It's one on one anyway. We don't even know. He didn't even know the. He didn't even know how many fouls there are. Foster standing at the line. So give me the ball, please. <laughs> Braden, 59% from the foul so line. So we're saying it's one on one. Is that really what they're saying? Wow. Yep. Missed it. Highlands ball. 
We're getting breaks, Mike. We have to take advantage of it. So we got a timeout. We'll talk it over at 4.53. Well, if you didn't know winter was here, that ride home yesterday was horrible in the rain. So you better have good tires. And a place to go is Highland Tire and Highland Integrity Alignment. See why they've been voted the best place to buy tires in the AK Valley since 1993. Best oil chain since 94 and now voted number one for auto repair. Highland Tires offers one of the largest and most complete inventories of tires and custom wheels in the entire Pittsburgh area. If you don't see it on site, ask and they'll order it for you. Visit HighlandTire.com or give them a call in Trentum, 724-224-9222. In the Heights, it's 724-224-7900 or Highland Integrity Alignment at 724-224-5900. Highland Tire, service, integrity price since 1961. They deliver. Okay, you're our math guy. Yes. Highlands is losing by how many points, Dan? I got him down 10. Okay. He's missed 11 foul shots. 10 for 21. Ouch. Mm. That will kill you, Mike. Shooting has not been good. <laughs> and we were about 70%. Yeah. So if we get that up there, we're down three. But yeah, I'm not saying we, I'm not yeah. saying we should have made them all, yeah. but but at 70 percent we're down three, and now we're down ten. Yeah, there you go. 4:53 to go, and again, as we said last night, there's still time. The Hall of Famers have arrived, Mike. Maybe we'll put a show on for them. Come on, Coach, Jimmy. Off the inbound. Oh, and three, one. Three. And, and one. He got killed down there. No there's call. No no. Nope. 22 for Jimmy. Nearing his average. Seven point game, and now good job by Doggone it. Timmons to get the block, another one. There we go, and finally. They got a foul. Finally. We have no idea. They're calling it on Foster. No, it's on Stowe Rocks, and the Rams will go to the other end. And guess what, Mike? Jamar Pierce had just walked the plank. You heard it there. John Mason said we're going to win this, this game. game. Write it down. Well, it's about time for the worm to turn. That's right. Pearson fouls out with 15 points at 435 to go. Foster missed the front end earlier. And again, the Rams have missed 11 for their 10 for 21. These are big ones, Mike. Foster came in averaging 59%. He gets her the second most behind Jimmy. Oh, God. In and out, but Timmons got the rebound. He needs help. He got it to the corner to Tavares. Out to Foster. Foster drives. Leary. Leary goes in. And no foul. If, if that's a walk. They're going to... It's Island's ball, yeah. And there was not a foul. As the Stowe Rocks player went down to the court. Well, we hit a three here, Mike. We're right back in it. Yeah, literally. Foster loops it into Timmons. Now Kunst, 4.20 to go, 48-41. Foster spins, shoots off the front rim. Rebound, Kunst puts it up and in. Kunst has eight points in the fourth quarter. 24 for the game, and all of a sudden it's a five-point game, and here comes the pressure. 48-43, they nearly lost it out of bounds. Now they're going to watch that call. They do get it across. Simmons had to come up on him. Now oh. Jenkins, a little big pass. Rams almost had that. Miller has yeah, it. Yeah, Jordan didn't see that ball coming, Mike. He could have grabbed that one. We're in business. I wouldn't be opposed to following him either. They haven't been making their foul no, shots. No, they have not. It's two shots for everyone. Yeah. Simmons all the way through, splits the defense and scores like they were just standing there. Too easy for Simmons. He's got 17. Leary does the same thing. Well, that's a wash then, Mike. And you heard of Stowe Rock's clipboard hit the floor there. When 50 to 45. When you're down five, though, you can't have washes. No. Look at that big crowd. Oh, another one. Jeez. Easy basket for Jenkins. Rams are just not stopping the break at all. Tavares goes in, and he traveled. He did. Carried it on his hip on the way in. Foster was wide open. 12th turnover for Highlands. Fifty-two forty-five. We have to deny that layup on the other end, Mike. Here's Ross. He's got it again, too. Oh, and now they got a six save was tripped. He had a late call. 
Treshawn Barron free cutting to the basket. So now Stowe Rocks will shoot two. I think this might be your way to go now. Yeah, Ross 0 for 2 from the line. What do you think, Dane? Go yeah. for the go for the fouls the rest I of the way. I think we got a foul on the rest of the way in. And boy, there's a big arriving crowd in that doorway there, Mike. They are all here for the big Hall of Fame celebration. First one is no good. 52-45, Stowe Rocks, 3.03 to go, trying to hold on. I think what they're doing, Mike, they're putting two years in together since they couldn't do it last year. Maybe they are. Off the back rim. Both. Oh, it almost went in. And then Stowe Rocks got the rebound anyway. Here's Simmons. Simmons had to come up on him and saved by Barron. Good job, by That can't be a foul. What's it called? Well, there? I want him to foul, Mike, because that's the guy to foul. He's yeah. 0 for 4 from the foul line. So Tavares gets it. Is that 4 on Jordan? It is. So we're back to Drayvon Miller-Ross, who has three points on the night. Seven-point game. He drains that one. Yeah. Head in somewhere after missing five four in a row. 53-45. Yeah, it has not been a clinic for free throw shooting tonight, both sides. That's in and out. Who's going to get the rebound? And again, Stowe Rocks has it, a travel. Jordan Tavares needs to be careful there. He slapped the ball out of the Stowe Rocks player's hands after the whistle blew. Eh? Good thing no ref was watching that yeah. because that could have been called easily. Still a lot of time to go. 242 for the Golden Rams. Here's Kunt's going to move it. 53-45. Off the move. Timmons left side. Timmons drives all the way in but gets shut off. Now to Foster. Tavares out top. Spins, he got out of control, threw it up, no good. Rebound Kuntz, and he stepped on the baseline. Turnover Highlands at 224. 13 turnovers now for the Gold Ram. And we're going to get a timeout here. Dwight Hines wants to talk it over at 224 left. Thanks to everyone watching on YouTube, the Breakfast Club, and everyone involved. You can see the games next day, sometimes even same day coverage. Um, if we have day games, try to get those up there for you. Comcast, remember, when we come back after uh, New Year's, we will, uh, every Tuesday and Friday game, will be on Comcast Channel 190, and that will be Tuesday games on Thursday, Friday games the following Wednesday. We try to put them on when we're not out at a game, and that way you guys can see them. And don't forget, we have some girls games coming up, too, on the 21st, excuse me, the 20th and the 31st. Uh, we'll have two girls games. Mike, remember Cornell Nelson? Yes. He was one of the guys you just always put on the back of the score, uh, your clipboard for dunking the basketball. Well, he has a nephew, Brandon Boston. I don't know if you ever heard of Brandon Boston. He played for Kentucky last year, drafted by the L.A. Clippers. Cornell's sister is Brandon's mother. And oh, now, how about that? Cornell is actually part of the entourage of Brandon Boston. He works a lot in the small world situation. Brandon's grandfather, Russell, went to college with my wife, Kathy, at Westminster. Oh Can goodness. you believe that? Small it world. all comes back. Six degrees of separation. I used to pick up Cornell. Do you remember? I do. Out of bonds. Good, off good the hustle by Cinderella. Yeah. Making sure that there was no easy basket there. 53-45. And I've been in touch with Cornell, and guess what he wants? What's that? He wants old VHS tapes of what he played so he can show Brandon. <laughs> Off the inbound, easy one from J. Mike Green Miller. His second basket, fourth point. It's back to a 10-point game. Hard like the Red Sea there. Kunst all the way through, no good. Rebound Jenkins. And we have a jump ball, and the arrow belongs to Highlands. 207 left. Part of Leary in there battling for that one. Foster back in for Signorella, trying to go offense-defense there and keep Foster out of foul trouble. Jimmy, by the way, now needs 314 points to break 1,000. The count is on because 
We think he can do it this season. He's got 24. He's right on his average. He's been the one consistent all year, Mike. Larry DeKunst drives in, got shut off by three white shirts. Now to Foster. Won't go. Rebound, so rocks. Less than two left. Miller. Now stepping back and that was completely unnecessary by Barron, but still Rocks got bowed out with the yeah. rebound. You don't need that one. How many offensive rebounds for that, Mike? Well, too many. Yeah, it's been an onslaught. And like I said, give Still Rocks credit, Mike. They were not as big as the Golden Rams, but they battled them every inch on the board. And we said it a few times. Comes down to a lot of one to and Still Rocks is one of that ball here tonight. Drayvon Miller Ross has struggled from the line. He'll get another at 146 left. He's missed five. A foul shooting contest. We yeah. must have 40 foul shots in this game, at least, maybe 50. Well, we're talking about our games going one hour instead of normal 120. We've got our money's worth today. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. We have time constraints on Comcast. It's for YouTube only tonight. We'll let her fly. Yep, don't have to worry about it. 11-point game. Here's Regard. Too long, we've got to get shots up. Leary's three is no good. Rebound, Coins. He got hammered. Now, he got hit in the head. Does that count? Yeah, they got that one. Both Jimmy teams still now, yeah, with 10 fouls, he'll go to the line. He needs to make one of these two to get his average of 25. Jimmy, six for nine. One thirty-three remaining. It's good. He'll get another. And that is his average, 25. Like you said, he's been mind-numbingly consistent so far this year. And it's 23, 24, 25, or 26 every game. But he needs more help, Mike. Nobody else in double figures. And that's the difference between the team that won the first five games and are losing the last two. Competition. They've stepped up in competition. That's what's happened. Foul on the floor. And Drayvon Miller Ross is going to have to pay taxes on that foul line. He's spending a lot of time there. Lil Long picks up his fourth. Actually, they gave it to Jimmy Clintz, his second. That's good. He's not in trouble, so. <laughs> 124 to go. 56 47. Missed another one. Six in this quarter, he's missed, and we haven't been able to cut into the lead. And he's three for nine. Nope, <laughs> nine point lead. It was 13 at halftime. That's too strong also. Foster got it to regard. 120 to go. Leary for a court. And let's tell you what, the Stow Rock's quickness has really given Highlands trouble. And rebounding. And Simmons on the back end. For 19, and now Regard goes into the Stow Rock's bench, right into the lap of big Cody Hale. He's a big guy there. So 15 turnovers now for Highlands. That's got to be cleaned up, Mike. 20 yesterday. Here's Simmons. Oh, bad trouble with it. Dribbled it off his leg. Double teamed. Now Thomas came free to get it. Miller right side. And Miller's fouled by Jimmy Kunst at 52 seconds. Jay Mott and Green Miller will go to the line. I believe it'll be his first trip there. We had our chances, Mike. Sure did. But Stowe Rocks has stood up to every challenge so far. And they will move their record to four and one. And again, their only loss was to Newcastle. So they got to like what they're seeing so far. And they get the scoreboard slid up now for Montour Basketball Legacy Night. And that's, you see all those people in the lower stands. Legacies all, I assume. And they all have hello, my name is on, yeah. too. That's very important. Missed them both. Rebound Timmons. They my certainly goodness. have tried to help us. They the sure have. 
Good spins, turns, 360 spinorama, and down it goes. Timeout Highlands, 58-49. Jimmy with 28 now. But again, Mike Carleary has eight, Chandler Timmons one, Braden Foster nine, Jordan Tavares has two, Cam Rieger two, so we, we're getting scoring. I mean, coming in, Rieger was averaging seven, six for Tavares, 15 for Foster, four for Timmons. The only guy at his average is Carleary with eight. You have Foster with nine, Foster has eight. Eight. Three, two, uh, three, four twos. He had, he's 0 for 2 from the foul line. Okie dokie. That adds up you're for right, me. You're right, Mike. Yep, you're it right. It adds up for me anyway. I know you were That's right. my early camera work. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I have for all eight in the second half. Is that correct? That is correct, okay. yeah. Two baskets in the third, two baskets in the fourth. 43 seconds. Quick steal and a three, oh, almost. Rigar got a piece of it. But here they come two on one again. Here's Barron, but this time Kuhn stole it and got fouled in the backcourt. 34 what? seconds, Jimmy will shoot two. If we could hit some outside shots today, Mike, Star Rocks have more than cooperated with us. Yeah, that, that's really been the problem. Again, Jimmy's hit two threes here in the fourth quarter. The Rams only hit three in the game. So Kuntz back to the line. Eight for 11. That'll get it done. That stroke looks so good. 29 now. I don't think Jimmy's ever gotten to 30. Our problem, Mike, though, is the last few games, that ties his career high. He has a chance to bust it right here. 51 and. And there you go. 51 and a all time high for Jimmy yes, with 30. Stolen by 51. Highland. And now they're going to get a foul on Marcus Thomas, maybe? They called Jimmy. Are you kidding? He was on the floor. Unbelievable. A masked man over there. It looks like Dr. Oz underneath that thing. I, uh, How can he be on the floor and get a foul? I have no idea. He was tripped, I thought, by Marcus Thomas. That's the way I saw it. And you know, Mike, we're shooting two and Jimmy's shooting two. Yeah. 58-51. It would not be over at 30 seconds. Certainly. This is Thomas at the line. Big free throws for him. He'll shoot two. Good. And that could be the one, Mike, right there. Special thanks to cameraman Pete for dig digging in here uh, late. Uh, not his fault. No, 28, 28 can be a problem. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank we, we missed it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we, we wouldn't have been able to get going on time. We'd have done the best we could. Second one is down. So Thomas gets four total. Matches his number. Speaking of matching, Mike, that's the total of yesterday's game. 60 to 51 yeah. was the score, yeah. Here's Kunz. Larry, I didn't see anybody. That was trust. Now What's what? the call? Timeout. Timeout Highlands with 23 seconds. Corey's well, going to make sure he uses them all up. Maybe he's going to use this one to talk to the officials. <laughs> Have you ever done that, Dean? Many call times. Call a timeout to make sure the officials know what you're thinking. And I also want to know if everybody has a ride home. That's what this timeout is normally taken for. Some locals, Mike, in Chris's tournaments. Uh, here, Burrow Bucks beat Erie McDowell 56 49 yesterday. Freeport was a winner, 47-44 over Slippery Rock. Kiske off to a good start. They beat Yawk 60-33. Valley Vikings continue to struggle, Mike. They lose 51-40 to Farrell, finishing up un teams that don't have wins, by the way. In 4A, Ambridge, Central Valley, and South Park don't have a win yet. 3A, Summit Academy and Valley. Still no wins for Valley. 2A, Clareton, Fraser, Rochester, and in 1A, Nazareth Prep and St. Joe's. The good news, St. Joe's got off the snide yesterday. Oh, they are playing yeah. it. They have their, they host a tournament yes. Christmas. So we played in that a few years ago when things weren't going well for us. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So again, uh, speaking of not going well, the Golden Rams are going to lose their second in a row after jumping out to a 5-0 start. They like their chances out in Harrisburg, Mike, against Stilton Highspire and uh, the 
Leary, there you beautiful. go. Nice setup by Corey Dodge in there out of the break. 11 points for Leary at 60 to 54 and a foul. 12 seconds left. Well, yeah, they did like their chances, but I will say this. If they would have played the way they played here, I didn't yeah, like their chances. Yeah, it was true of that. Leary's going to walk the plank. So Carter ended up hitting two from downtown. He had 11 points. No, they called Regard, Dean. Oh, Regard, okay. 24, not 14. Missed the first. You know, they really do need to make one of them. Oh, he has missed seven, eight this quarter. It's a six-point game with 12 seconds to go. Stranger things, Mike. Stranger things. I love that shot. <laughs> I maybe we, need, maybe we need a Demogorgon to come down here and uh, land on the uh, bike. Look at him help. And they get it. another rebound. Oh, couldn't stole it. And they say he stepped on the line. Oh, got it. That inside rebounding, Mike, again. He's killing the gold rim. He's missed nine in this quarter alone. Drayvon Ross. Amazing. Now we got a loose ball foul. Let's see who that's going to be on. That's on Carter Leary. Now he's going to walk the plank, Mike. He has two games in a row for Carter. So now we can officially walk Carter off the plank, off the edge, for his fifth foul. And the line for the Vikings is Jamont Green Miller. Makes he the makes first. Yep. He's got five, 61 to 54. And that could be the dagger there because it's seven points with seven seconds. Right, I think the Rams will probably get one more crack at the basket here. Rattles home. Early. Against pressure. Tavares, five seconds. Regard lost the handle. And Three it. seconds to go. And Stowe Rocks is going to move to four and one. Highlands will drop to five and two. But again, the Rams uh, staying spotless in section. And they'll come back after New Year's. Hope everybody has a good New Year's, safe New Year's parties, and have some pork and all that sauerkraut and all that good stuff. That's going to do it, Mike. And I'll do it. And the horn sounds at Montour, and the Rams come out here and lose twice tonight.